Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tara. I'm a farmer in Northern California. I grow grain crops with my dad and I planted my very first vineyard in April of 2018. And this channel is all about my farming adventures. I would love a thumbs up. And if you're new here, remember to hit that subscribe button. It means so much to me. I told my dad I wanted to take pictures with that tractor because my new logo, it doesn't have a farm all, but it has a red tractor on it. And he got this tractor a little while ago from someone local and he thought it ran, but he wasn't sure. So we drained the oil, put a new oil filter in it, cleaned out the gas. He's driving it around. Yay. <laughs> Fun project. We were using this tractor to pull the chisel, but it's having some issues. Um, we can like hear the hydraulic is like putting pressure. Even once we have the switch off, we can still hear it. So there's something going on with it. We're gonna unhook one of our other tractors from a scraper and hook it up to a chisel for the day. When it's on, you can just hear the sound of pressure over here. So something is not working right. Tractor and scraper. Just gonna get the scraper unhooked and get a chisel hooked up. Hooking up to the chisel with the original tractor. We think we might have fixed it, but we'll see. All hooked up. Chisel. We use the dolly just so the roller doesn't hit the chisel and the flat roller. Now, that's also the I'd be afraid if we end up with a big old, you know, pack. Can't pull it? Huh? Does that, mean it's too, does that mean it's too hard? That's okay, I can interview with you at the same time. Maybe the back, yeah, it's slipping. So do, does that mean you'll raise it so it can pull it easier? The tires slip in the dirt. Yeah. yeah. That tractor before would have just spun without the weight. Oh, because you added weight to this tractor. Huh? You added weight to this tractor. Is this the one you added like a thousand pounds? Ten plates, right? Huh? Ten plates? No, or two two hundred and fifty pound weights on the oh. Two five hundred and fifty. We got a thousand pounds. Okay. And the quick hit another five or six hundred. So we added 1,500 pounds from when I first bought it. 
How far in the ground are the chisels right now? Right now? Yeah. Two feet? No. You have to get us out and measure. I've had people ask before why we use the dolly, and it's just so when you turn that you don't hit the roller, right? Well, I don't, yeah, I don't want to hook the rack solid. And then we used to use a chain, and the chain would bang around. It's easier to hook and unhook, too, because you can move the dolly, the roller, you can't move. good was that? I actually got my dad to talk. He even was like, are you happy I'm talking? I'm like, yes, I'm so happy. This is what everyone wants to see. When the chisel is going too deep, we put these on the shaft and it keeps it from going so deep, palm donuts. You can see there's donuts on it right there, that little silver piece, so that way it's not going all the way down. Does Jose's have more horsepower? This is 405 and this is 435. Does it look any better or no? It sounds a little better. That's those points are so big that shows how much it's lifting and it just falls back into a hole. It's amazing how much it sinks on. Yeah, I could see it that time. I had to stop recording to like really watch it. Yeah, I like it. So it's making that hole. And then uh, I'm going to tell him if he wants to put the other points or the other double on and do it, I don't care. The Like the one that's like double wide? So these are the donuts and keep it from closing all the way. Why do you chisel? This ground's too hard if I don't. <laughs> You chisel every cornfield or only when they get this packed? You know, like, you're just chiseling these because we land leveled them, or? Yeah. We can't get a chisel through our stuff. Oh. So, like, at the end of the year, what, after we disc, that, that's normally the end, right? I had a chisel I could get through it in our corn stuff. You? Who knows where that mouth has been? <laughs> Trying to list some stuff for sale for my dad. Got my outdoor office buddy. We finished corn harvest a couple weeks ago. We've got the corn harvester somewhat clean. It has not been washed and waxed yet, but it's all been blown off and vacuumed out and all that. It is supposed to rain in a few days. So we are cleaning out the shop and gonna get it in the shop. When the weather's nice again, we'll pull it out and wash it off. But my dad does not want this out in the rain and it does live most of its life in the shop. The harvester does not stay outside.
clearing things out. Gonna work on pull starting the Farmall F14. Dad's hooking it up with some straps to the pickup. I'm waiting for him to hook up that tractor. Got the shop almost cleaned out. I'm ready for the harvester, which is right there, just waiting. Waiting to go in. I could keep this camera up when I'm going forward too. Be nice. died or you shut it off oh so now i have to pull start you again or you're going to push it in Just wrapped up another great day on the farm. Got a lot of stuff done today. Got some fields chiseled. We got the shop cleared out and the harvester in. Now that the day is over, I think I'm gonna go visit my grandma. I hope you all have a great day. Please, if you like this video, if you wanna follow my farming journey, hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button below. It means so much to me. You guys have a great day.